my program is focused on how does mercury move through ecosystems and the sort of problems it can cause in places like Nova Scotia, but also internationally. And the visitorship that I received from the Harrison McCain Foundation allowed me to spend my sabbatical year in Europe, uh, particularly in Lisbon, Portugal. And I developed collaborators there um, that are experts in salt marsh ecosystems. I worked with researchers in Italy and France. And we really developed an international team of people that I can draw on for any research that I want to do into the future. One thing that I'd really like to emphasize about the McCain funding is, I can't emphasize this enough, is how critically important it is for professors to have access to funding that allows them to develop international collaborations and develop their research program and allow them to develop internationally relevant research right here in Nova Scotia. I'm immensely grateful for the Harrison McCain funding. I was teaching at Yale in 2012 and started a project called Planting Slavery in Nova Scotia's Promised Land. I'm interested in the African American and African Canadian experience relating to the settlement of the planters in Nova Scotia. The articles say there were between 150 and 200 enslaved African Americans brought with the New England planters. I have found wills with six and seven people being left to the air, so there's a lot more than 150 enslaved individuals here. We also know there was importation into Nova Scotia, and I've found proof of that in some of the papers, even in the Acadia archives. We can apply for funding to locate, document, and create cell phone apps to locate and describe sites relating to slavery in the Minas Basin of Nova Scotia. It's going to be a big shirt grant application and I wouldn't have been able to even start that had I not been here at Acadia with, as a Harrison McCain visiting professor. I'd like to thank the McCain Foundation for the bursary that they have given me to help me pursue my dream of becoming a biomedical engineer. Back in 2010 I was diagnosed with a non-germinoma germ cell brain tumor. Now that I have an insight on the hospital world, biomedical engineering would be the right fit for me. To fund my own education last summer, I had two jobs. Having those two jobs really showed that I was had an initiative to fund my own education. Through sports, I think, I've gotten a sense of leadership I have also taken a bit of a leading role in some extracurriculars such as the Youth Advisory Council at the IWK. The bursaries really help me focus on my schoolwork because I don't have to worry about getting a part-time job to pay for the schooling. I can put all my effort towards my studying. The Harrison McCain Foundation Visitorship Award allowed me to travel to Orkney to visit with my colleagues at Harriet Watt University. Uh, in particular, the International Center for Island Technology, where a lot of research is being done on marine renewable energy, the social and economic aspects of it. Tidal energy presents an interesting opportunity to Nova Scotia. Now we have to make sure that we do it in a sustainable way, environmentally, socially, as well as economically. But it's a small industry, it's a new industry, and it's very global. So rather than reinventing the wheel here in Nova Scotia, it works really well for us to collaborate with others elsewhere in the world. I've learned a lot, can bring that home, and it's also strengthened the relationship between Acadia and Harriet Watt University. I would like to greatly thank the Harrison McCain Foundation for supporting my research.